23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Tim Callahan. Here's what's making news around Kern County. The power is back on after nearly 8,000 people without it tonight. According to PG&E, more than 4,100 customers in Southwest, 3,200 in South Bakersfield without power around 4 this afternoon. The cause, a power pole that caught fire. The power, though, has been restored to those areas. Get receiving the honor in a customer engagement category for its Get Works campaign. The Rideshare Service saying uh, that the PR Daily's Content Marketing Awards celebrating teams, organizations, and consultants redefining the field with their groundbreaking work. You may remember the Get Works campaign sought to discover how public transportation here in Kern County helped those who depend on it. Speaking with riders, Get officials say the Get Works participants gave testimonials on how the bus provided financial security Security, community support, creative inspiration, even a path to sobriety. Well, CHP looking to educate young drivers on how to be safe on the roads. Next week, they're hosting another free Start Smart class for teen drivers and their parents. CHP saying the two-hour class providing key points on safe driving habits, consequences of poor choices behind the wheel as well. The class is next Tuesday, November 19th at 6 p.m. at the Bakersfield CHP office. Parents can call 396-6600 to sign up. Temperatures were 11 degrees above average today, and that trend is going to continue for your Thursday. But our next system is going to be sweeping through the Pacific Northwest. That will be bringing a nice drop in temperatures back down to those upper 60s, so actually near average, which we have not felt at all during the month of November. But we continue to stay dry and warming to start next week. A high of 80 degrees on Monday. That would actually be the seventh day of temperatures in the 80s in November so far. But it looks like we do have a chance to break that dry streak. We are tracking a very small chance of rain on Wednesday and Thursday, but that is something that we will continue to track. That's your latest news and weather. You can find the top stories anytime at turn to 23.com. Good night.